Here's another problem that uses the equations of motion for rotary motion. Uh, in this one, we're going to find the angular velocity of a wheel that starts at 33.3 RPM and accelerates at 2.3 radians per second squared for 35 revolutions. So let's write down what we know so we can pick out an equation. So in this one, we know that we have an initial velocity, omega i, of 33.3 revolutions per minute. I would invite you to look at one of my other videos to do the conversion of that. I get 3.49 radians per second for that. And we have an omega f is what we're looking for. We're also given acceleration, that's alpha, is 2.3 radians per second squared. And we have a delta theta of 35 revolutions. Again, that needs to be converted into radians. So basically, that's just a matter of multiplying by 2 pi. And we get 220 radians will be delta theta. So looking at this, we know delta theta, we know alpha, we know omega i, we're looking for omega f. We don't have a time in this one, so we probably should use the time independent equation, which would be omega f squared equals omega i squared plus two, I'm sorry, not a, how about alpha? So not a, how about alpha? Delta theta. And so omega f will there be for be the square root of all that. So delta i squared plus two alpha delta theta, all under a square root sign. So let's plug those numbers in. Omega i is 3.49 radians per second. And we're going to square that plus two times alpha, which is 2.3 radians per second squared times delta theta which was 220 radians. And then let's put that whole thing under the square root sign. So I would invite you to stop now and punch those numbers in the calculator to see what you get. I get 32 radians per second. Don't forget to take the uh, square root of the whole thing. And since the problem was given to us originally in revolutions and RPMs. Um, we might do the conversion and find that 32 radians per second is 305 RPM. And let's look and see if that seems reasonable. It was uh, 33 and a third um, revolutions per minute. It accelerated for quite a while. So 305 sounds like it probably is a fairly reasonable answer. Let's put a box around that.